Hello chaps and welcome back to Tina Mobile Car Wash. In today's video, I have a very special BMW M4 competition in for a interior and exterior detail. As I will show you guys how I take care of wrapped cars and how I deep clean the interior of this beast. But before all of that, let's take a look at the condition of this car. As you can see, it is covered in a layer of dirt, especially on the lower portion of the car and the wheels. And the interior definitely needs some work done too. Time to begin this car wash with the pre-wash stage to loosen and break down as much dirt as possible, allowing for a deeper and safer clean. So for the Vossen wheels, I'll be spraying them with a wheel cleaner using a pump sprayer. This BMW is beautifully wrapped and also fitted with carbon all over the car. Honestly, when it comes to car customs and mods, this car is truly the best I've ever seen. So the pre-wash of choice for the body is a snow foam, which is the safest and most effective option for this wash as many pre-wash sprays for the body do cause damage to wraps. To never miss a video from me, subscribe and turn on that notification button. I now let the snow from sit on a 450 horsepower M4 for a few minutes so that the dirt can be softened and pulled down safely. Next, I perform the initial rinse off, pressure washing the whole car. Looks very satisfying the way it comes off. Be sure to give this video a like if you're enjoying this. And also comment below which car you'd like to see us do next. I begin to use my wash mitts to scrub this beautiful BMW. Just check out that windscreen. I use multiple mitts. And first do the upper portion of the car with one set of mitts, then the lower portion of the car with another set of mitts. I do this to make sure I always have a clean wash mitt touching the car, allowing for the safest wash possible. The wheels have their own pair of mitts too, as I wash the whole wheel with them including the inside, making the wheel cleaning process a lot more efficient and safe, as they are a lot softer than brushes and also absorb the dirt rather than agitate it. Time for the final rinse off. This 
car has one of the best straps I have ever seen. When sunlight hits the matte silver parts, a rainbow color appears. Check it out. So be sure to subscribe as I'll be doing a video on this BMW during the summer and I don't think you'd want to miss it. Let's now dry the BMW. Also, a leaf blower is used to get into areas that can leak later on. Follow me into the interior as I now perform the hoover. Be sure to give this video a like if you're enjoying this. I now use a foam cleaner to give the seats a deep clean with a microfiber towel using one side for the cleaning and one side for the drying. This process is repeated on all levers and plastic. I then use foam cleaner on the carpets and clean them using a brush and dry them using a microfiber towel. Later on, once the foam dissolves, I give them a final hoover to make sure they are perfect. I now clean the windows, spraying them with a window cleaner and wiping them with a window cloth, using a wet side and a dry side. Next, the dashboard. My weapons of choice, interior detailer sprayed on a cloth to clean most surfaces and a small brush to clean any hard to reach areas. To complete the interior, the door shots are sprayed and wiped with a microfiber cloth. The tires are shined and the Vossen hybrid forged wheels are given a final touch up to make them perfect. To complete the exterior, I do a final check using a ceramic spray detailer and a microfiber cloth to allow me to give the car protection while also making sure there are no imperfections left. My Tino air freshener goes in to leave a fresh smell. Let's have a look at the results. As always chaps, thanks for watching, like, comment and subscribe and here are two more videos I think you would enjoy.